With that, sir, you've seen the full lay of the land. Corfo Bianco is a beautiful estate. One must admit, time has taken its toll. If, if, forgive me for being forward, but if you were to choose to invest a small sum towards its beautification, consider me at your service in the matter. Think I'll take you up on that. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any remodeling. Okay. Then we could do some renovating. Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Rossell, who went bankrupt, okay, forcing him to, to sell the estate to, to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman, a truly colorful man of Kedweni origin. He was actually a Headsman? No, not him, but his great, 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 great grandfather. Indeed. Apparently, he was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of ducal headsman in Beauclair. Went about his work with an exceptional penchant. They say he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. He never hesitated, not once. Never sliced unevenly, never botched a job. For his exemplary service, the duke granted him a title, and this estate. Monsieur Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Sadly, misfortune struck and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. Shame that. He gave up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. He began throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far and wide in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bolius. Okay, then we could do some renovating. Mentioned the place could stand to be spruced up. Almost decidedly, sir. The question is where you would like to begin this rejuvenation. Uh, let's do some work on the house. Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. Not only did the residence positively sparkle afterwards, but we also made room to display the Admiral's armor and weapons, of which he was a passionate collector. Oh. Five thousand. Uh, I don't have. Mm. Need to think it over some. I understand, of course. As the venerable lady Eve Knibley would so quaintly put it, the rash oft contract rashes. Mm, the grounds. Got these spacious grounds, mm, but maybe it's time to make them more uh, useful. Oh yes. We certainly should. The way oh, I see things, given your trade, sir, you would be wise to put in a grindstone and an armorous table. A good way to start things off, don't you think? Um, yes, this. My armor needs work from time to time. You know, oil this, reinforce that. Could use a decent work table where I could do all that. Admiral Rompali once hired a specialist who made the finest armorous tables this side of the Yoruba. I will contact him at once. Hmm. Good. Order me up a table like that. Yes. Immediately, sir. I expect it will take at most one day to arrive. Will you be needing anything else, sir? These. In my trade, my blades get dull pretty quick. Could use a grindstone. Professional grade. Of course. No one would consider that an unnecessary extravagance, I would wager. Okay. All then the send out stone. for one, please. A high-quality stone to be set up in the yard. Of course. I shall send a runner to town at once. I believe you shall be grinding to your heart's content by tomorrow. Will you be needing anything else, sir? Uh, we'll discuss this later. Rather bush some other topic. You know what? Changed my mind. Not in the mood to talk about redecoration today. But I wanted to ask you something else. 
I shall be glad to answer your every question, sir. Uh, okay, so long. Thanks. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon. I want to... Oops, ah, gosh, I pressed the wrong button. Um, I think I really need to farm more money. Oh, I can put my sword here. How This is like my home. Place trophy, no items. What? Uh, use. Hang painting. Okay, let's put here. Stash. I have okay 2000 plus I think I really have to go to um, a merchant and sell my weapons and armor rest here to gain bonuses mm. Upstairs, I want to take a look how it's this gonna look like. I think I prefer Garrett to sleep upstairs rather than downstairs. <laughs> Armor stand, ooh. Fast travel point Adorned your head and uh, sell off my items. I really want to decorate the facade ah! for this. It's, it's looking so run down here. Now I shall sink you a song. Oh, wait a minute. I think I've been here before. 
Yeah, I remember I killed ah. a vampire here, down here. Yes. Yeah, right here. Okay, so this is my home. Because I, I recognize I this place. Every witch yeah. I've known has been a swell land. And the flowers are so beautiful. Okay, let's go fast travel, sell my items, and get renovation done. Where is the mushroom? I like to trade with your kind. You actually appreciate quality workmanship. Uh, craft something for me, will you? I get a craft something for me, would you? Okay, let's sell. Sell this. This later. Right. Farewell. So long. Okay, now I got five thousand crowns, so let's head back to my house. Can't wait. Get inside and talk to you. Pleasure to welcome you once again to the as yet humble confines of Corfo Bianco. When last we met, I did not get the opportunity to present my credentials. With your permission, I shall do so now. I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. <laughs> oh, in that case, yeah. you must leave it all to me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip the house into order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. Can already see I'm in good hands. Okay. I think we could do something. Starting to really like this place. Maybe we should keep going. Refurbish some more. What do you think, BB? <laughs> As you wish, sir. Shall we see to the house or the grounds this time? Uh, let's do some work on the house, yes. Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompali's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. Not only did the residents positively sparkle afterwards, but we also made room to display the Admiral's armor and weapons, of which he was a passionate collector. Okay, yeah, give her a good sprucing up. It's in your hands then. Make the place shine. Yes. I shall get to work immediately. Within a day's passing, I shall have sent for the crew which rebuffed the Admiral's residents. They are the finest specialists around. Highly skilled what they do, it shall not take them too long, I wager. Two days after they begin, your eyes will behold your residence in its refurbished, rejuvenated, beautified state. Is there anything, anything else you require, sir? Uh, so long. That's all for now, BB. Thanks. Okay. Wait three days for the general refurbishment to finish. Okay, I have to wait. So, meantime, let's go and meet Regis. Yep. This, report back to Regis. Hmm. 
She's fit to wed. Let's go. Where is he? Wall map. Moments later. Let's get in. Finally, that door is unlocked. Okay, he must be up here. Yeah. Hey. Think your friend's hand will make for a nice broth? Hmm. You've clearly honed your sense of humor. But we are not cannibals, Geralt. I took a fragment of tissue from the hand. It will suffice to prepare some resonance. What did you do with the rest? I cremated it, as our Codex commands. Raven told me you'd acquired the necessary ingredient. Uh, helpful creatures, Ravens. Pretty helpful creatures, calling them often. I try not to overdo it, but they can be so useful, as they were now. When I merely needed to be sure, I could arrive in time should things go south. Managed to find a loan, but thanks for the thought. Gonna need much longer to finish brewing resonance. Mentioned a last ingredient, too. What about that? That, I fear, might prove troublesome. You see, to use the concoction to summon the memories of one, the solution must contain the blood of another specimen of the same species. Shouldn't be a problem. I happen to know a higher vampire who should be willing to help. Right, Regis? It's not that simple, I'm afraid. While you were away, I tried my damnedest to identify a replacement, but, alas, none such exists. Not sure I understand what the problem is. Can't we just draw some of your blood? The blood must be in an agitated state. As I'm certain you know, higher vampires can change their corporeal shell. As our flesh changes, so does our blood's chemical composition. To make a long story short, I shall need to induce in myself a state of strong psychokinetic arousal. In brief, madness, rabidity. That stands to be very, very dangerous. Okay, dangerous. Who for? Dangerous? Why? I mean, you'll still be you, right? True. But I should be highly agitated, in a state of fury. You know better than I that fury cannot be controlled. If you've ever seen an enraged vampire, you know very well that all who find themselves nearby will be in grave danger. How will we handle that? I'd rather not have you lunge at me, claws extended. That makes two of us. Don't worry not. I've thought it through very thoroughly. Details to follow soon. Okay, how do you plan to induce this state? Alright, so what do you want to do? We shall visit Tesha Mudna, an ancient vampire estate. There, we will find cages suspended in the air. I will enter one, be confined. You will lure beasts there. Beasts you will then kill. The bloodletting should prove profuse. Abundant enough so that the blood scent will drive me mad. Wild. This place, Tesha Mutna. Tell me more. Tesha Mutna. What's it like? It is a place of torment. A torture chamber. Long ago, Shortly after we'd arrived in this world, one among us named Kagmar developed such a taste and lust for human blood that in one night he could imbibe an entire village. This brought trouble on the entire species. Common folk wearied quickly of living in constant fear. They began to hunt us, seek the aid of mages and witches in tracking us down. So what? Not like they could ever hope to kill you. But they were bothersome. Forgive the comparison, but when did you last enjoy mosquito buzzing around your head? In any case, the other vampires decided something had to be done. Kagmar had to be caught and punished. A torture chamber was thus outfitted in the dungeons of Tesha Mutna. Inside it, a cage made entirely of a special alloy of silver, dalvinite, and meteorite steel. Kagmar was captured and locked in the cage. Sat there over two centuries, driven to fury time after time, never able to escape. Thus I know the cage will withstand the fury to which we shall drive my humble being. Okay, let's go. 
see no reason to dawdle. Tesham would now take me there. In a moment. Just one last thing. What's that? What was that? Uh, blood. Oh, the last favor the raven did me. I've also taken some sangurium, a solution that sharpens one's sense of smell. One drop of blood shall smell like a gallon to me now. You crazy? You're a recovering addict. <laughs> Your outrage warms my heart, Geralt. You must remain calm. I have no choice. As things stand, the die is cast. <sighs> High time we set off for Tesh and Mudna. My head's spinning already, and you're <laughs> starting to, to smell a little tasty. <laughs> and you're starting to scare me. <laughs> uh, funny teasing between two of them. <laughs> Okay, I see chest there. I think Garrett can grab some of the items from that. We have arrived. The sacrificial chamber of torture and torment lies underground. Sure you want this? Sure you know what you're doing? I can only hope I do. Please, let's go. The longer we delay, the less control I shall have of my faculties. I'd really prefer not to hurt you. Okay. So kind of you. You lead. I hope I don't have to fight with him. Scurvers must be getting close to their feeding ground. Correct. I told you there'd be danger. <sighs> Beyond this wall lies an ancient vampire dungeon. Seen a lot of things in my time. Nothing quite like this, though. My, I feel honored. A man with such a wealth of experience, yet I'm about to show him something new. Now, to open it. How the hell? It's an ancient form of protection against unwanted guests. A mechanism which releases the latch reacts only to a higher vampire. Blood. Tricky mechanisms, a vampire hideout. Fortified, secure. Must have been important to your species once, Toussaint. It shall always be so. During the conjunction, the gate from our world into this one opened upon this land and the other. This was the first place we saw. Human husbandry and care? This for real? The author observed humans, their behavior, over the many years he spent breeding them. More than suspect than may be, it's a thorough survey of the topic. This place. There's evil here. Death hangs in the air. Yes. A great many beings have breathed their last here. I think I prefer to light them up. This place is so scary. you would call tribes, dispersed throughout the world after the conjunction. My ancestors are here to remind us of where we came from. Seems your kind assembled a peculiar little library. Indeed, though I personally did not lay a hand to it. What's this symbol mean? It's the symbol of the Tadet, those who went east beyond the Blue Mountains. I see. Excruciatingly so, this particular page from my history. I'd rather not summon the demons of the past if it's all right with you. And this one? Which tribe's this? Garishan. My tribe, and Dedlos. 
We both remained in this part of the world. Who's this, this cliff? I'm a runner. They ventured beyond the sea. I see. Humanitarians is something my ancestors were not. They concluded Kagmar would best be punished if he were tormented with the scent of blood he could not taste. Thus, they also kept humans here. Humans whose blood they slowly let. Kagmar ranted and raged in pain as those, those humans slowly bled to death. They treated them like livestock, live bait. I'd like to be able to turn back time, deny it, but alas can do neither. Feel shame for my brethren. That is all I can do. Don't take it so hard. Nothing you could have done about it. Let's get to work. Well, that was awkward. Fine. I prepared the bait. Please be so kind and place it. Ideally at the tunnel entrances. The sun will spread most effectively then. Let's do this. Place the bait at the tunnel entrances. Monsters will catch its scent more quickly. When I think how these tunnels got here, send shivers. It was the natural order of things. The place reeked of death and it attracted necrovengers. Please, you won't be able to. 
We must force through this, that is all! Some time must pass before I fully recover. But yes, a bit better, thank you. <laughs> Let's start what happened back there. Never expected it to be like that. Yeah. You didn't tell me. We need not discuss it. But we do. Because if I'd known you were going to subject yourself to torture... What would you have done? Found dead love some other way. I did not wish you to use any other way. Did that occur to you? No. Because I thought no being would ever willingly subject itself to that kind of pain. You vampires aren't any different from us in that regard. I told you, the pain is my way of paying my debt. The enormous debt I owe Detlaf. If I had
had to do it again, I would in a heartbeat. Oh, you are so kind. Regis is a good resonance. Vampire. It's ready. Are you certain you followed the formula? The proportions were exact, the brewing time precise. This is important, Geralt. The slightest deviation could cost even a witcher dearly. Relax. Got some experience brewing potions. Very well. In that case, let's begin. Gentleman was here first. Step down or you shall regret it. Ah, <laughs> fails to realize he was your friend, Count. Then I ordered him to give up his seat and step off the step. If only you'd seen his face. We got him good, didn't we, Detla? This is Detla. No wonder he looks so familiar. And then Mother insisted we buy the meal. <laughs> Curious, eh? Nothing 
extraordinary about it. Normal, everyday situation, really. Visions were supposed to issue from strong emotions. Clearly, the situation provoked such emotions in Deadlove. Keep in mind, it did later murder Delacroix. Killing someone who's grown dear to us, it's bound to elicit strong emotion. Vampires are no different in that regard. Did you see anything else? We shouldn't begin and end with a boot black. There was something. Showed up twice in the vision. A boot black stand. Deadlove first met Delacroix there. Went back after the murder, actually. Peculiar. Stand was somewhere in the port district. And the boot black acted as if he knew Deadlove. Hmm. That would be even odder. Perhaps we should have a chat with the lad. Well, I would expect no breakthroughs. It's our only lead. I'll go talk to him. Coming with. I shall join you later if it's no trouble. I don't yet feel strong enough to venture out. That's fair. Rest up. Be back as soon as I learn anything. Yeah, have a good rest. This quest is done. Toy, toys face away. Find a good black book here in the bush. Not now, Gerald. I can not move a step without your assistance. Okay. Just follow the pathway. Yes, here then. Right, I'm out of this place. So I still have some other okay Wait, three days. Yeah, I still have some other quests to do. So maybe I'll do some of these off camera and uh, maybe I do this and this on the next episode and this as well. Okay guys, so if you guys enjoy for today's video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and leave your comments down below. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye!